I'm Donna Lowry from the state capitol with tonight's lawmakers special session report. With a final vote in the House, the legislative redistricting maps for both chambers are now awaiting the governor's signature. The Republicans hope it puts them in the majority for the next 10 years, but the Democrats say the state is changing. The proposed map that went through the Senate process and is before you here today splits only 29 counties. We believe that it is in compliance with the Constitution and the Voting Rights Act. Democrats say the map doesn't account for the state's growth in minority populations. The map we are discussing and voting on today disregards Georgia's population growth, centers and the diversity of the state. Another Democratic concern, the impact of redistricting on women as lawmakers. At a time when the number of women elected to local office is just starting to climb out of the basement, we should not be drawing maps that make it harder for women incumbents or harder for women to run and win in new districts. Among the map changes, District 48 represented by Senator Michelle Al, the first Asian American woman in the Senate. Her Democratic leaning district in Gwinnett County will now include part of heavily Republican Forsyth County. It turns Senate District 48 into a majority white district. And it took our state 230 years to elect an Asian American woman on the Senate side. The Senate has been accused of targeting a senator. Well, first of all, that is an overly simplistic analysis of an extremely complicated process. The Republican congressional maps are expected to be released tomorrow. For GPB News, I'm Donna Lowry from the state capitol.